And here's a um youngster dude. Oh, there's a youngster dude in Mount Moon. There was one right here. Do you know that? Did you come to explore the cave too, or did you come to explore the cave too? Yeah, I did. I did. Here's a youngster, Josh. Okay, I'm glad you understand, Zekra. I'm 25. Thanks for asking that. That was a really good question. I didn't really, f I didn't really address that. So thank you for reminding me about that. Okay. Uh, nope. Thunder might go down. But not on my watch. I'm gonna switch Thunder out to Chelsea. And go Chelsea, or do it Chelsea. <laughs> so here we go. Tackle. I'm gonna use Quick Attack. Okay. And let's get some more quick attack, and this guard test should go down. There we go. Because the draw sent out a Rata. So here we go, quick attack. And yeah, there's tackle. One, two more quick attacks should faint this Rata. He has tail up to lower my defense one number or stage. But it's not gonna work because I'm gonna hopefully Chelsea will hopefully finish off this Rata and she did. Where to go, Chelsea? Okay, one more Pokemon. What is it? A Zubat. Okay, so let's just use Quick Attack on the Zubat. Two more Quick Attacks on the Zubat should faint it. So yeah. Oh thanks, um, Oroi. Oh thanks, <laughs> thanks. I'm glad you guys like my content and. I'm glad. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm glad I like you. Uh, I'm glad I like. I'm glad you like my content. I couldn't say that for some reason. Can't talk today. And then I'm glad you like my stream. Yeah. There we go. And yeah, one more quick attack should do it. And there goes down the Zubat. And then Chelsea grew to level 13. I believe Chelsea also learns with um learns um. I think it was Hyper Fang at level 13. There we go, Hyper Fang. I was right. Oh, thanks, Zekrom. I really appreciate that, you guys and gals. It's just fun to live stream for you guys. I mean, I'm glad you're liking and enjoying it. I'm, I'm glad it's keeping you entertained. So, I'm going to use a couple of potions here, actually, because my Pokemon's HP are kind of low. So, let's see. We can use a potion on um, Rata, or Chelsea, I should say. And. She's in the potion on Fear Me. Uh, let's use a potion on Thunder. And we'll use a potion on, um, didn't mean to do that. We'll use a potion on Blaster too. So let's do that. There we go. I'm going to switch to Blaster, by the way, because this is a hiker dude. And he, I think he has two Jeters and Onyx, if I'm not, if I'm, if I were to guess. So yeah. Just go to this um hiker dude and say, Hey. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Oh, that's not very nice. Kids have very high potential. They're the they're the stars of the future, man. Hiker Marco sent out his Geodude, okay. So I'm gonna send out my Squirtle. And let's use water gun. Ready to go blaster. We go, Blaster to level 15. And yeah, here's another G dude. Let's choose another water gun then. <laughs> Thanks for quoting me, uh Ur Urvi. RV. Um, yeah, thanks for quoting me. <laughs> Stars of the future, yeah. Oh thanks. I'm glad you thought it was very deep. Cause like you can't just say, Oh, I'm just a kid. You can't like be you can't underestimate what a kid can do. I mean, they, they have so much potential, as I said before. I mean, you shouldn't take them for granted, either. They, they're they really powerful. This is, you know, kids these days are really smart. But then again, they can have their flaws, too. But, you know, they're really smart at times, and they can come up with great things. Just to say the least. But yeah, Buster grew to level 16. Nice. And Buster should evolve after this battle, too. Play defeat a, we defeated Marcus. Wow, shocked again. Thanks for the 360 poker dollars, though. Yeah, kids can do anything, you're right. <laughs> okay, here's Blaster. Blaster's gonna evolve into a war turtle. And, yeah. It almost looks like the shiny sprite for a shiny war turtle, but I think a shiny war turtle is a bit lighter on the blue, a lighter blue or something. 
But yeah, my War Turtle is awesome, and our Blaster evolved into War Turtle. So there we go. I'm gonna switch back to Thunder, though. There we go. And right here is a Moonstone right here. So there's a first Moonstone. And again, as I said before, the Moonstone helps, um, it will, it help, it will, um, will evolve a, um, Jigglypuff into Wigglytuff, a Clefairy into Clefable, a Nido, a, a, a Nido, um, or Nidoran, not Nidoran, but Nidorina, into Nido Queen, and Nidorino into Nido King. So yeah, I think that's all the evolutions for Moonstone in this game, though, but I could be wrong. Right here up here is a Revive, so yeah, there you go, Revive. I feel, I, can, I feel I can keep on running, and now I can't because my repel off. Because I don't want to do I don't want to totally run into wild Pokemon. Into wild Pokemon, I'm gonna use my last repel. There we go. And here's a rocket grunt. Listen, kid, a little kid shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Okay, Team Rocket Grunt, you don't even have a name. You're just you're just your name is Team Rocket Grunt. So, yeah. Let's use. Well, I'm gonna switch out actually. Let's go to Myrata. Let's go to Chelsea. And yeah. Use Quick Attack on us. Okay, so I'm gonna use Hyper Fang on this thing. There we go. Grunts are people too. You're right. You're right, totally. You're right. Switch that with that and that with that. Okay, and Hyper Fang again. Oh, and a Quick Attack, actually. Yeah, there we go, Quick Attack. And it painted the Rata. That's nice. And let's, again, send out Sand Shrew. Let's use the Hyper Fang again. There we go. What does Hyper Fang do? Uh, it's a powerful normal type of move that since this, um, since Rata, since my trusty, who is a Rata, is a normal type of move, the same type of attack bonus. But I'll actually do the, I'll actually look up the, um, uh, can I explain it? Not off the top of my head, but I'll look up the description of the move after this battle. So, I guess we can look forward to that. Hyper Fang again, oh it missed, oh no. There's sand attack. Oh man, I should use quick attack then. There we go, quick attack hits, and okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna switch out. And let's you let's go to Fear Me. Send out Fear Me, I should say. Yeah. Quick defense curl, okay. Peck attack. Oh, what's my favorite Pokemon and why? Um, my, po my favorite Pokemon is a Grodel because I'm a big fan of the grass type Pokemon. Up until 4th generation, my favorite Pokemon was Bulbasaur. I really love grass types. Statistically, they're maybe the worst type, arguably, but I still like them a lot. I, I, I don't look on things like in Pokemon games about statistics really. I just look about how I can strategize them to be really good Pokemon. Like, if you strategize um, how to use a grass type Pokemon like a Bulbasaur, and when it's a Venusaur, you have a really good strategy for it, it works. As long as you don't send out send it out to like a fire type or an ice type or anything like that, anything it's weak to, or if you have if you have moves to cover those weaknesses, that's good. But like, cause you can strategize with about any Pokemon type, so you just kind of have to think outside the box with that. So that's why I like Grodel a lot. He's a grass type. He's my I'm Giant Grodel on YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and Twitch. So you know. What is my favorite Pokemon? And I guess that's why. I'm steamed. Thanks for the 416 Poké Dollars. But thanks for asking questions in the chat so I can answer them. Feel free to ask questions in the chat. I always forget to mention that. So yeah. Uh, Grodel. Um, oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go to my Pokemon. So, Hyper Fang. Let's see what it does again. Or, I know how it does. It's an attacking move, but yeah. Hyper Fang. It has um, 80 power, which is actually really good for this point of the game, and uh, accuracy is 90. Okay, the foe is attacked with sharp fangs. It also, it also, it may also, it may make the foe flinch. Why did, why, why was I having such a hard time reading that last sentence? So it's kind of like bite, but a little bit more powerful, but not for normal type Pokemon. Or it's, it's for, it's a normal type move, I should say. I guess that's basically it, and it has maybe a little bit less accuracy than Bite does, but it's a little bit more powerful. She has a potion on Chelsea, actually. 
But almost out of Mount Moon Surprising, so that's good. Is tail up good? Um, it raises, it, it lowers down your opponent's um, defense stat by one. I mean, I don't really use it that much. I don't really use status lowering moves or status increasing moves. Well, I'm, I, I use more status increasing moves than status lowering moves. So, um, it, I guess in, uh, tail up is good for the beginning of the game, in my opinion, but later on when you like wearing like, something like. Uh, like super fang, I think that's a I think that's a move that Rattata can learn. You kind of want to get rid of tail up in my or I get rid of tail up usually, so it's I th I'd say that tail up is good at the beginning of the game. But like as you get better moves, you kind of want to. I always seem to like forget, have to forget that move because I don't really use it anyway. And yeah, I guess that's it's okay at the beginning of the game. I should say or good. Revving Pokemon will from the okay revving Pokemon from the will. Um, I I think I may have skipped some dialogue. Lauren has huge riches. Okay. That's cool to you, Rocket Grunt. That's cool. And here's a Rata. He has a Rata. Okay, um, let's go with um Thundershock, I guess. Thundershock again. Uh Thunder fainted. Oh no, because of critical hit. Okay, fine, we'll send our own Rata. Do I like Pikachu or Raichu? Um, I like Pikachu a little bit more than Raichu. So, I might keep my Pikachu as a Pikachu the whole series, but I'm, I don't know if I want to evolve it into Raichu, like at the beginning of the Elite Four, because that's like a good time where I evolve my Pikachu into Raichu before the Elite Four. Like right before I enter the doors to the Elite Four. Or right to enter the whole area of the Elite Four. But I'm in the Pokemon Center at the Elite Four and then going through the first gate. The first room is probably when I usually evolve it. But I don't know if I'm going to evolve my Pikachu for this series. I'm not sure. Let's just Hyper Fang though. Hyper Fang hits. There we go. It KO'd the Rata. Nice. Here's a Zubat. I'm going to just quick attack it. That's oh, gonna be supersonic. Oh no! I don't want. I don't like supersonic. Oh, can I get a uh, Pichu in this game? I think you can hatch it as an egg or something, or maybe I think you may have to trade it over from, you know, I think you may have to trade it over from like a different Pokemon game. I'm gonna switch out. Let's go to Fumi, I guess. But yeah, this is a, that's a good question. I don't know if you can get Peach in this game. Maybe I'll probably be like egg or something. I, I my my finance would probably probably no, but we'd have to trade it over from a different game. Fury attack, and it missed. Okay, come on, come on, Fumi, come on. There we go. What was my what, what's my first shiny Pokemon? Um, hmm. I think actually my first shiny Pokemon was I was playing through my Pokemon Silver on my Game Boy uh, Advanced SP when I was a little kid. I think I was around probably like eight or nine, and I uh, this was a like first shiny for a lot of people probably. But uh, my first shiny was actually the Red Gyarados at the Lake of Rage in Pokemon Silver. North of Mahogany Town in that game. So yeah. That was my first shiny, I would say. Yeah, two times. Come on, I just wanna thank you for missing them with that supersonic. I just wanna faint this Zubat, and I should go for Peck next time, because apparently Fury Attack doesn't have that great of accuracy right now, or like statistically, it doesn't have that great of an accuracy. Well, maybe like 80% accuracy, but Peck's always 100, I think. Yeah, there we go. The Zubat, the Zubat goes down, and trust it should go to level 14. There we go. Nice. Team Rocket Grunt was defeated. Oh, great. Now I'm mad. Thanks for the 416 Poké Dollars, though. I, do I play the new Pokemon games? Um, actually, I played Pokemon Y, and I really liked it for the 3DS on my 3DS XL. And I've also played um, um, Omega Ruby 
And I should put a pill on, but I don't have any more pills. Yeah. But like, I do have... Um, I have played Pokemon X, I mean Y. I have played, play I have played Pokemon Y and Ome Omega Ruby. And they're both fun games, I really like them. I'm gonna switch out. Let's go to Blaster. Well, let's get a few of them, actually. Okay. I could just run from this Clefairy, but I might as well faint it for experience or something. It's gonna use Grattle go to lower fear me attack one stage. And let's use Peck, I guess. No, I meant to scroll down to Peck. But I thought Fury attack. Hopefully Fury attack can faint this. Oh, no, not the cute charm. Not the cute charm. So if we can hit five times. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna run from this battle now. There we go. Right here is another moonstone, so it's, an, it's a hidden item on this rock. It's another moonstone. So you can evolve again. Uh, I think Wiggly, Jigglypuff into Wigglytuff. Um, Clefairy into Clefable, Nidorina into Nido Queen, and then Nidorino into Nido King. Uh, there may be more than more Pokemon like that, but yeah. I'm just going to run from this bottle. Hopefully I can't. Okay, good. It's a, I got away safely. Okay. What is the cutest Pokemon in my opinion? Um... I'd have to think about that. Because that's hard. Um, if I did think about that. Mmm, that's a hard one. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Yo, let me think some more while I put another. I don't have any more repels on, but I wanted to actually use a potion, so I went to the bag for a reason, but I forgot. Um, cutest Pokemon. Cutest Pokemon. Um, I'm trying to think about that. Well, I do like grass type Pokemon, and um, I did. I was a big fan of Chikorita. Chikorita is pretty cute as a Pokemon, so that'd probably be the cutest Pokemon in my opinion, because it's a grass type. It's I, I started. I use it as a starter a lot when I play the second generation games, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and I wanted in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I played two. And I usually always pick the Chikorita because Chikorita is pretty cool. Hey, stop! I found these fossils there, both of them. I had to guess on what the first. Um, bit of dialogue this super nerd had because I clicked past it too fast and couldn't read it So I had to guess super nerd Miguel, so we're trying to get through Mount Moon It's this this is the home stretch and there's two fossils blocking away, but then this new this um You know the super nerd Miguel Will just be like hey, you know these fossils are both mine. You can't have them So we have to battle Miguel To show we are very determination very determined to get through Mount Moon for no other reason, just other than the fossils, too. Yeah. We will get the fossils. Dun dun dun. We have a bottle. Okay, Chelsea gave level 14. Okay. And let's see here. He's, Miguel's gonna send out coughing. Okay. Here's the coughing. Excuse, let's use Hyper Fang on it. It hits. Awesome. Dang it. What else do I play? Um, do you mean like in video games? Uh, like uh, like what game systems or what games I play? Um, well, I play Pokemon. I play I played Kingdom Hearts one. It's just the first one. I play Super Mario, like a Galaxy. I've done a let's play on that. And New Super Mario was we had a co-op walkthrough, a uh, co-op walkthrough guide on that. Uh, I also play I'm playing Fire Emblem right now. It's one of my series. Um, just the original one for Game Boy, or just the one that ported to the Game Boy. Or something. It's just the Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. Um, what else do I play? I play... Hmm... I play Cave Story, I guess, on Steam. That's like my only Steam game other than Team Fortress 2 and Counter-Strike. Um... What else do I play? I play, like, my card games, like... double. I play Double Dash 64, um... Wii, and I Mario Kart 8 as well. I play, I do, I play Super Mario Maker for the Wii U. Um, I play Smash Bros for the uh, Wii U and 3DS. Um, stuff like that, I guess. Just to name a couple. And let's just Quick Attack. I think Quick Attack should faint this coughing. Let's see. There we go. Coughing goes down. And it's fainted. Oh, you love Super Mario Maker? Yeah. I should live stream it soon on Twitch. That'd be fun. Have you? Have I made any levels? Um, I have made some levels. So, maybe I'll do a live stream on that or something, or a video. Well, I've already done videos on Super Mario Maker, but I could do a, li I could do a um, Super Mario Maker live stream again. I've already made one, but that was a long time ago, actually, like maybe three months ago, or maybe two months ago. 
But yeah, but I have to make sure I get set up in OBS, which is my streaming software that I use to live stream on Twitch. So um, yeah, hopefully I can get the settings right. Hopefully when I move a lot, it won't like be all pixelated and stuff, because the constant bit rate or the bit rate will be um, slow or something. I don't know. It depends on my internet connection. If I were to play, if I were to stream Super Mario Maker, I'd do it at my mom's house because I have better internet at my mom's house. I'm, my I'm at my dad's house for this um, live stream session for Pokemon Fire Red. And he, um, he, um, he doesn't have as good at internet, but that's okay. I can still stream simple games like, you know, um, po Pokemon Fire Red or an emulator from the GPU. Uh, just basically anything off the Visual Boy Advance, because it's not like heavy, heavy, um, as any of the other games that one might take as much, like, you know, used to drop my processor or CPU when I live stream, when I live stream. So, we'll see, yeah. It'd be cool to live stream Pokemon, or not Pokemon. It'd be cool to live stream a little, a little bit of, um, Super Mario Maker. That'd be fun. Okay, so there goes Chelsea, also gained, oh, she gained 264 experience and grade level 15. There we go. And we defeated Super Dude Miguel. Oh, I'll, okay, I'll share. Okay. Good that you came, I'm glad you came to your senses, Miguel. We'll each take one fossil, no being greedy. Okay, I'm gonna just do the Helix fossil just because I, I kind of like Omnimite. I won't ever use Omnimite on my team though, because... Wait, I'll, sh I'll say that later. Hold on. Uh, there's something I want. I'll say that coming up, actually. Then this one's mine. And if you talk to Miguel again, far away in Cinnabar and there's a Pokemon lab. They do research on regenerating fossils. Yeah. And that's... Cinnabar one is the seventh gym where you can get the seventh gym badge. And you can't get there until you beat, have six gym badges. So, yeah. And guess what? The Kabuto or Omnimite that you picked up. The Kabuto's in the Dome Fossil and the Omnimite's in the Helix Fossil, of course. And the thing is that uh, when you regenerate them at Cinnabar Island, your Pokemon are in the 30s probably, maybe late 20s, and you know, it's level 5 when you bring it back to life. So yeah, I wish they made it to like level, it come at level 30 instead of level 5, because level 5 is basically you're the same level as you, you got your started Pokemon in back in the first um, town, not even city, where you didn't even have any gym badges. It didn't make any sense, that, but like if you really want to raise either a, also a ter an Aerodactyl uh, fossils there too, I think um, near um, Peter City in that next to that museum, I think. But if you want to actually just raise 